reacting to a viral video I first saw on Twitter on Clown World. Go ahead and give Clown World a follow on Twitter. It is of a black professor, self-professed black professor. We don't actually know. Okay. And I'm a professor at this university. Okay. And I make more money than you. Okay. Comes up to a preacher uh, preaching the word of God and decides to open up about her life and what she has been recently going through. They yanked the fetus out of my uterus, and I'm so happy. Okay. I'm so grateful. Okay. So let's go ahead and check that out. And just to let you know, yeah, she definitely gets arrested. Let go right now. Yes or no? Let go right now. Yes, no. Yes or no? You're under arrest. Put your hands behind you. <laughs> but let's get to the clip. Why you're angry and why you're mad. Uh, I'm not too sure if they're talking to first the guy that's throwing, I don't know what, looks like he has fruit in his hand. I'm not too sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so he is throwing some type of fruit. How you doing, young lady? And I, I can tell you something else. Right. I, tell you something else. I had an abortion. It, it's funny because the black preacher just looks over like, oh, man, she's about to say some shit. He can already tell that she's about to be a fucking nuisance. Like, he's looking at her like, oh, fuck, for real? This fucking lady's here to <laughs> say some stupid shit? Years ago, and I don't regret it at all. Okay, so she goes along and says, I had an abortion two years ago, and I don't regret it at all. Don't know why that, like, is that supposed to make the preachers be like, oh, my God. It, it's the person coming up to you and being like, I'm so happy. Did you know I'm, I'm happy? It's like, oh. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, cool. Be happy. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It's very strange for someone to just walk up and be like, hey, I had a fetus ripped out of me two years ago, and I'm super happy about that. I had an abortion two years ago, and I don't regret it at all. I don't regret it. <laughs> that's d definitely what someone that regrets something says. Hey, just to let you know, I don't regret it at all. There's definitely regrets. You can see it in her face that she's just like, I don't know, coping hella hard. Just, wow, just extreme levels of cope right here just being like hey guess what i had an abortion and i don't regret it it's like uh kind of seems like you do they yanked the fetus out of my uterus god dude that is cringy super cringy uh to just say they yanked the fetus uh out of my uterus like why are you this is not something you should be proud of folks this is i don't say i don't think you should be ashamed i don't i, I i'm not sure but you shouldn't be elated that you had an abortion. It's not, it's not a badge of honor by any means. Uh, I don't see it as a badge of honor. Maybe some people do, but in my personal opinion, opinion, uh, an abortion is not a badge that you should wear and make, you know, physical comedy of what they did to you. Like your body was torn apart by an apparatus. You know, a doctor went inside you and like scooped fucking human out of you. It's, it's pretty disgusting. They yanked the fetus out of my uterus, and I'm so happy. Okay. I'm so grateful. Okay. And I'm a professor at this university. Why grateful, though? Like, what part of it is grateful? Like, what are you grateful for? That you killed somebody, essentially? You took a life? Like, that's what you're grateful for? That's what you're happy about? And then, I don't It's really wild. It's a wild interaction. University, okay. And I make more money than you. Okay. And... Okay, now you can tell she's definitely, like, not happy about her decision. She's like, I make more money than you? I don't even know what that, what the implications of that are. Like, is she trying to, you know, emasculate it maybe? Trying to say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm in a, you know, I, if you're, why do you have an abortion? If you make so much money and you're a professor, you would think that you, I feel like you wouldn't been in the situation where you got pregnant and you would have to have a, fetus ripped out of you with as she describes it is very strange what else he's just like well oh, for real <laughs> that's crazy a lot of times uh you know pro-choice people will say oh well they need to have abortions because they can't it's out of their means they they can't support a child but you literally heard this woman say i'm a professor i make more money than she claims that she makes more money than this gentleman so was it just sport? What was the reason behind what was the reason behind having the abortion? So at this point she's verbally assaulted him. University. Okay. And I make more money than you. Okay. And what else? 
<laughs> I'm a professor at this university. I make more money than you. And what else? Doesn't even know what she's like. How do I uh, personally attack this man? That's not doing anything to me. That's just on the, you know, public areas preaching the word. It, it's baffling to me that a professor, this, if this doesn't show that universities have gone totally insane, this is 100% proof that universities are out of their gourd. They're out of, they've lost it. What's your name? And he's still being really cordial, really nice, really respectful, asking her her name. You know, he doesn't seem very bothered by her, by what she's saying. Because in the end, he he probably feels sad for her. He, he, she, deep down inside, she probably feels some level of guilt or some, she must feel bad in some way to where he can, he's picking up on that and he's like, hey, this lady, she obviously needs, you know, she needs to hear the word of God. You know, she obviously needs Jesus in her life because she is not fulfilled, obviously. That's none of your business. I, I mean, we're being cordial here. You, you hear? Yeah, got my mic. Are. We're being cordial, right? Yeah. And he's, mind you, this whole time she's holding onto his mic and speaking to the crowd. So saying these we're things. Being we're being cordial. So, my, my name is Ricky Castro. Nice to meet you. This has to be a mental breakdown. I, I don't know any of this. Has, she was already like on the way, on the verge of self-destruction. And he just happened to be preaching the good word of God. And she's just like, I'm going to take this time to just, you know, cast aspersions on this guy. Nice to meet you. I mean, nice to meet you. Is that you just came up here to tell us your business without giving us your name? Yeah, that's what I did. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll pray for you. Okay. We'll so he unplugs the mic. He's just like, you know what? I've had enough. She's, you know, assault, uh, insulted me multiple occasions. And now she's holding onto my property. And this conversation's pretty much wrapping up to an end. He's being super chill about the situation. She doesn't realize that she's being a nuisance. Oh, I'm sorry. I still can't believe she's a professor. The court out? Yeah, I took the court out. Yeah, because okay. you won't give me my bike. My <laughs> yeah, yeah, to the court out bitch because you're not fucking giving up the mic and you're saying nonsense. Okay. Please, please. She must have had a fucking nervous breakdown like at some point. Give me my mic back, please. Please, young lady. Thank She's, th this is the person that's, you're, when you're sending your kids off to college, this is the person teaching them ideas. Thank you. Thank you. Have a, have a good day, okay? You're not stronger than me, all right? <laughs> They're literally fighting over the mic right now. This is nuts. God bless you. God bless God. you. Hey, hey. hey officer! Uh, that's good. You know what? He did the right thing. You know, he, you know, she's not giving up the mic. She's causing a disturbance and he does the right thing. And he's like, Hey, there's police officers nearby. Let me go ahead and, you know, get him over here to help me with this obviously deranged lunatic. Assault this young lady, went, she's trying oh, to rip I'm my stuff officer. up. Oh, I'm assaulting. <laughs> she doesn't realize that. Yeah, this is, you can't, you can't take other people's property. You can't whole dominion over someone else's property you can't just be like oh i'm gonna take your mic and i'm gonna just keep it no you can't do that she's it's funny because she's laughing about it like she's like nah i'm i'm right on this one Come here. Yeah. yeah you are you she doesn't 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 know the laws i don't know what she teaches but she's obviously an idiot yes. you're, you're very angry about your abortion. Yeah. the crazy this white lady now pulled up with a camera and i don't know whose side she's on but it definitely Looks like she's probably on the black lady side. Yeah. Let, let go of myself. Okay, if I get arrested right now, I would literally Why are you lash out. Like she said she's gonna lash out. <laughs> she's like, if I get arrested right now, I'm gonna lash out. You're gonna let's fast. You'll see it. We're not gonna fast forward, but you'll see. She doesn't do any of that. She just fucking she really bitches out. Hi. No, it's not. Okay. No, it's not. <laughs> Here's the quick point. He, the police officer, very nicely walks up to her, asks her to let go of the mic. Can you please let it go? She says, are you going to ask me nicely? The officer doesn't have to ask her nicely. It's not her property. She has no authority in this situation. He's like, let go of the mic. She says, are you going to ask me nicely? Let's hear it again. Now I would literally laugh out loud. Let's hear it again. Hi. No, it's not. Okay, you should probably let him have this stuff on here. Are you going to ask nicely? He could just be like, well, you're under arrest. Like, he, this is the, this is one of the main problems. Once the police are involved, people, all people should know this, regardless of race. 
just let it go. It's, it's it's over. You're done. Like, just let it go. Just walk away. Everything would have been smooth sailing. You just be like, okay, let go of the mic. But so many people now, especially people in university are being, or people in general are being taught to like, just not listen to police or police are bad or evil or out to get you, whatever. Listen, if you don't want to escalate a situation, if you're, you have to know de-escalation tactics. You have to be aware that this is not the problem. This is not a way this is not the way a sane, rational human being should be acting. You don't tell the police, "Hey, ask me nicely." You're you're the you're committing the crime right now, so you're now you're not the you don't hold moral hierarchy and just be like, "Hey, ask me nicely." No, you just let go of the mic and you just walk away, lady. That's all you have to do. That the, everything gets resolved if you just drop the mic and walk away. Can I see? He even he still says it. Can you please let it go? Can She's just like, am I assaulting? What does it matter? Just let go of the mic and let me walk away. So, oh, the other the other police officer comes in hot, though. He's like, fuck this. I'm not fucking dealing with this stupid bitch. I'm going to be like, yo, let go of this fucking mic right now. Walk away right now. They're actually being very lenient. This could have gone much more sideways if, if she just kept being this way. And this is one of the reasons that women don't understand that they live on this, like, privileged mode where she thinks she's okay to do these actions no no one ever taught her hey you cannot act this way this is not a good way to act for any person you know if you want to be in the general public this is the you're being really rude you're not as you're as you're holding his stuff i mean you're definitely not that's not your property so you definitely can't do that uh, could, can I get my stuff? Can I, can I get my stuff, ma'am? He's still up to this point telling her to walk away. Is this assault? God, dude, this lady is very brave and very ignorant. Yes or no? Let go right now. Yes, no. Yes or no? You're under arrest. Put your hands behind you. She probably feels like a, she's like this, I, I'm a good soldier. This was this was something good. I definitely did the right thing. I stood my ground and I did not let this. It, it looks like another black person. This is a, this black on black crime essentially. She's like, I prevented this black man from spewing the Lord's word. I am a hero of the woke liberals. I saved the day at this university, preventing this other another black person from preaching the, the word, the gospel of God. Not anything bad. He's not telling people to go out there and kill whatever. He's not He's not talking about a game bang. He's talking about the Lord. And she took it upon herself to, you know, just lash out for whatever reason and talk about her abortion. And if you remember earlier, she had said, uh, if I get arrested right now, I'm going to lash out or something like that, something to that effect. And no, she just bitched out. She should have kept going. You're already in this deep. She's just like, all right, I'll go with you, whatever. We pray for the grace of God. She, oh my God. <laughs> oh man, that is, I cannot get enough of this. She just looks, dude, she looks, she's definitely on Adderall or something. She looks out of it, dude. This person, if she has to be aligned. There's no way. If this is the uh, professor. This is fucked. This, is, this school is fucked if this is the person teaching young people. Like, look at her, dude. She looks deranged. Like, this. what, what happened? Something happened. This can't be, this is not her normal actions. I would love to interview her and be like, what? Did you have a breakdown? Did you have a mental breakdown back there? Uh, oh. Yeah. All right. So that's it for this clip. Uh, go ahead. Comment down below who was in the right, who you think was in the right. Was she in the wrong? Did she take it too far? Is Should she have been arrested? Let me know what you think. I thought she was totally in the wrong. And the police did the right thing. I mean, they should have. Maybe they won't arrest her. Maybe they'll just take her away and then, like, maybe give her a ticket. But... Uh, this is obviously a sick, demented person. They're obviously ill. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, uh, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Till next time. Yeah.